Hi everyone, this is Matt, welcome back to my channel. So maybe both of your hands are busy, maybe you can't see, but you really want to use your laptop and you want to browse internet pages, you want to open Word or Notepad, whatever it is you want to do, you can actually do it with your voice. And it's going to save you so much time and increase your productivity. And let me show you how to do it. So first of all, we go to the settings here and all of that is for free, right? So you go to accessibility and then you scroll down and you have this speech function here in the interaction. Right, okay, and then on top there is voice access. So this is what we're going to use. And all you need to do is just you need to turn it on. And now I'm getting this bar on top, that is the voice access bar. And there you go, now it's ready to use. So. I can activate it with my voice. I just need to say this phrase out loud. I can activate it here in the top left corner just by clicking this button. So it's always really easy to find. And then in the top right corner, I have settings. So this is something I would always pay attention to. So you can choose your default microphone. So I have this microphone selected right now, which is exactly what I want. And then you can manage options and here you can turn on automatic punctuation. So if you want to dictate, and for example, um, that will include full stops, columns, question marks, periods, and so on, then you really want to have this on. If this is really useful, you can also filter profanity out and you can have automatic startup setting so that when your Windows, when your laptop turns on, you can turn this, this will turn on automatically as well, which is really useful. And then languages. So if English is not your first language, you have a couple of other options. Um, you can choose Spanish, German or French. Okay, so let's start with this. I'm just gonna go here to the top left corner and click sleep mode. And from now on, I will not use my hands at all. Open notepad. Hi everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to my channel. New line. How is everyone today? Close notepad. Click don't save. Open word. Click blank document. To do list. New line. Click bullet point. One. Eat as much as I can. New line. Backspace. Backspace. How easy is this? Select all. Delete. Close word. Click don't save. Open edge. Wikipedia.com. Press enter. Click Wikipedia. Eight. New tab. Speech recognition commands. Press enter. Okay, and I will turn this off now in the top left corner. There you go. It is still turning off. It is still catching my voice. Oh, come on. There you go. Now it's off. So I'm going to scroll down and I just want to open this website. I am going to link it in the description down below so you can easily find it. But the point why I don't want to use my voice anymore, because I just want to quickly show you what's going on here. So you have all of the speech commands here. So, you know, say start to open start, say press Windows C to open Cortana. You can scroll, you can switch between apps, you can open apps with the word open, just like I did. There are some guidelines here for editing, so you can select a word, you can correct words and so on, delete, minimize apps as well. There you have commands for dictation, so this is really useful. So I, for example, used new line, you can also use new paragraph, tab. 
no space, go toward, go afterward. So lots of lots of useful things here, really. Um, I just keep scrolling. Um, you have some commands for the keyboard as well, um, but we haven't used any of those. We have commands for punctuation. So yes, you can say comma, semicolon, all of that. It will insert them. But if you have this option here that I had selected in the top right corner, right, manage options, turn on automatic punctuation, you will not need to use this that much. Unless, well, you want to open a quote, close a quote. Um, we can also insert, you know, a greater than sign or dollar sign. So that's really, really useful. That's really cool. So I'll keep scrolling. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. Smiley face, frowny face, all of this. Cool. So much stuff. And then there are some commands for Windows and apps. So, yeah. Um, start view file recycle bin double click right click left click um yeah minimize cut copy paste so there is so much to play here um there's there's so much useful stuff and unfortunately i only discovered this quite recently i wish i knew this when i was doing my phd when i was in the lab with both of my hands busy and I had to make, you know, notes, and then I would literally just dictate notes as I was doing things. Um, and that would be super useful. Right now, it really improves my productivity, because when I have lots of things on my mind, I just want to say them out loud quickly, um, and, it, and I can just dictate everything. To be honest, you can just say a whole thing at once, and it will take a little bit longer, but then it will put it down on a page for you. And... This is how I even created show notes for this episode. Um, it's really useful and I would definitely give it a try if I will, especially because it's for free. So anyway, let me know how you feel about it. And if you benefit from this channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.